Hi, David Williams here, and today I wanted to talk about what Parity is and how it can be used to detect errors in data communication systems. So in any data communication system, you're going to have a transmitter that is sending data over to a receiver. Now, in an ideal situation, you are going to transmit your bits from the transmitter, and those bits will re be received by the receiver. But o what often happens due to noise in the system or due to failure of some, kind of some components is some of those bits, or even all of those bits, could be flipped or changed, and, and so you end up with bit errors. So what that would be if you're trying to transmit a 1, and instead of a 1, a 0 gets received, or if you're trying to transmit a 0, and instead of a 0, a 1 gets received. So at the very minimum, on the receiving side, you want to make sure, or you want to have a system that can tell you if an error has occurred. And one of the simplest ways to do this is to use the parity method. Now the way the parity method works is data is grouped in chunks of 4 bits or 7 bits or 8 bits or some, some number of small number of bits. And then another bit, the parity bit, is added to the data to create either an even number of 1s if even parity is used or an odd number of 1s in that chunk if odd parity is used. Then the receiving end receives these groups of bits and counts the number of 1s. And if even parity is used in the system and an even number of 1s is being received, then the receiver can assume that no errors have occurred. If odd parity is being used, then the receiver is expecting an odd number of ones in that, in that chunk of data. So I think the best way to understand this is to look at a few examples. So for example, let's say we have a 4-bit even parity system. So what this means is that we are going to group our data into groups of 4 bits, and then we will count the number of ones in that group of 4 and add another bit, the parity bit, to make sure that the number of bits in that sequence, in that chunk, is even. So we've got an even number of ones in that, in that group of bits. So if I transmit, if, if the group of four bits that I want to transmit is 0, 1, 0, 1, I have two ones, so that's an even number of ones. So that means my parity bit is going to be a zero, so that I still have two ones in this chunk. So this data gets transmitted from the transmitter to the receiver. And on the receiving side, if, we re if the receiver receives 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, it looks at the number of ones that are in this chunk of data and sees that there's two ones, which is even. So the receiver is going to say that data looks good. I'm going to assume there's no bit errors in it. If the data transmitted is 0, 1, 1, 1, there's my four bits of data. I can see that there's three ones in there. I want there to be an I want there to be an even number of ones, so I'm going to add another one to it, so I've got four ones. Then that gets transmitted over to the receiver, and if the receiver receives 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, counts the number of ones, sees that there's four ones, which is even, and that data is good. If my data again was 0, 1, 0, 1, I would again add that 0 to it. And let's say that a bit error occurs this time. So a bit error occurs in that first bit. So what actually gets received at the receiver is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now the number of ones are counted. There's 1, 2, 3 ones, which is not even. So the receiver goes, oh, there's something that went wrong with this chunk of data. It doesn't know what went wrong. It just knows that something is wrong. So what it can do is tell the transmitter that it's received the, error, the data in error and ask for that data to be transmitted again. Similarly, if I have this 0, 1, 1, 1 data to be transmitted. I add the 1 to make the, the number of 1s in that group to be even, and I transmit it. And at the receiving side, it receives 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, counts the number of 1s, sees that the number of 1s is odd. It's an even, even parity system, so it knows that an error has occurred in that chunk of data somewhere, so asks for retransmission of the data again. Now you probably have noticed that there is a possibility that errors could get through without being detected. And that can, that can occur if more than one bit error occurs. But for a simple system to check errors in a system where you're not expecting more than one bit error because noise levels are low or the data transmission is low, data transmission rate is low, the parity method is a system that can work pretty well.
Okay, let's look at some examples in an odd parity system. And let's say this is a system that groups the data in seven bit chunks and is an odd parity system. So that parity bit is added to make the total number of ones in that seven bit chunk an odd number. So if I have the data one zero one zero one 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 to transmit, I've got seven bits there. I count the number of ones. I've got one, two, three, four, five ones. So that's an odd number. My parity bit therefore would be a zero. And I transmit this over to the receiver. And the receiver receives one zero one zero one 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 zero. Counts the number of ones, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There's five ones, which is an odd number. Everything is good. Also, as another example, if the data I'm going to transmit is one one zero one one zero zero. Count the number of ones, one, two, three, four, which is an even number, so I need to add one more one as my parity bit so that I've got five bits I'm transmitting. If this data is transmitted and I receive one one zero one one zero zero zero. I count the number of ones, one, two, three, four. There's four of them, which is an even number. So that means there must be something wrong with that. The receiver would know that there's a bit error there and ask for retransmission of data. So I hope you learned a little bit about parity generation and parity checking just in a general sense and, and how it's used in data transmission systems or data communication systems. And I'll see you in the next video.